Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha Bahashim Kha Kudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. <clears throat> Greetings and salutations to you, Achim. Uh, uh, that are upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah in truth and sincerity. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of the only begotten Son, or Chakudash being the Holy Spirit, Akim being you brothers, and also including the, the sisters, the few sisters in which um, you know the Lord has called in the Spirit to fulfill their lot. Uh, and of course, Tazadak, I wish going into uh, righteous, um, you know, Tazadak and, uh, you know, Yashar, righteous, upright, those words are interchangeable in the Hebrew language. Uh, greetings. I want to do a, a quick lesson in regard of counsel. And the value and the importance and the significance of counsel. All right? Us being a body, a unit, deriving from uni going into one, or more may say all. Um, us being a part of the same infrastructure, the same system, the same cosmos, it is imperative that we take heed to the importance of wise counsel. It's the book of Sirach, otherwise known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 6, verse 2. Extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart. Extol meaning to lift up, to bear up, to praise, to exalt. All right? So you're not supposed to exalt yourself in thine own counsel. Praise yourself in thine own counsel. You're not supposed to go after thine own counsel. Now we're all, you know, well, you know, you know, when you become seasoned in this thing of ours, you will be, you know, of course, put in situations where you'll have to make decisions. Uh, and those decisions might be uh Something that has to be done uh, immediately. Nevertheless, and general, generally speaking, when making important decisions and significant decisions in which is going to affect the body, because you as an individual, your decision making affects the livelihood of the entire body in which you're a part of. The, the decision-making, uh, if, 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 if one has a foot and the foot is tarnished or the, the foot is destroyed, that state of that foot will affect the entire body. It will affect the, the, the brain, the, the mental uh, behavior, uh, the, the nerves, the blood flow. Bacterial growth. All these, and that's what the scripture speaks about leaven. It speaks about if, if that I offend thee. It is imperative that we take counsel in the spirit, man. It says, it, it, it says, extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, which is your. 
we know heart to be your mind. La'ab in the Hebrew, or labab. It says, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull string alone. Now, this exquisite parable that we have before us, it says, that thy soul be torn not in pieces as a bull string alone. Abide in me and I in you. Yahweh Shah said, he is the true vine. Keep that in mind. Now, in, in, the, in the wild, in the, in the churches of the Animalia kingdom, what happens in the jungle in which you have bulls together, and what do they do? They run and they survive in unison as a unit. All right? And what happens? How, how do the prey of how do the beasts, the predators, may I say, how do the predators, how do they go after the uh, the opposition? They get the one that is by themselves. How does the wolf get the sheep, that lost sheep, those scattered sheep? If you if you stray alone. You become weak. And that's what counsel, that's the same thing with counsel. If you don't take counsel, it because this thing of ours is, is a spiritual, is it's a spiritual work. By taking counsel, you're being in the pack. You're a part of the pack. When you don't take counsel, you begin to astray from the pack. And this will start being realized on essences of different parts of life in, in, in the truth or in your walk in regards of the brotherhood is naturally going to happen. Those circumstances will bring forth those results. It is, it is imperative that we take counsel, especially in these times. I will have to say now more than ever before, Go to the book of Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 6, reading out of the King James Bible. It says, For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is Solomon speaking. He was said to be uh, the wisest man on earth at that period. Probably only being superseded by Yahweh Shai, whom, you know, those of us in the know, uh, know it's, it's two in one, man, I say. <laughs> says, for by wise counsel, thou shalt make thy war. You know, and that's, that's via all, all battlefields. Spiritual warfare, physical warfare. It says, and in most decision making, just your mere decision making, if one general on the on the battlefield chooses not to communicate with the other or the um may I say the general in which who supports his flank, and there's an inadequate amount of communication, if the flank is overcome. The host will be consumed from behind and destroyed or encircled. This is serious business, gentlemen. It says, For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. When the bulls are together, there is safety. Was that Yahweh Shah said it? Um, he said, "I am divine." Ah, oh, he's he's the he's divine and he's divine. Let's see here. 
our Lord, our, our Lord and Savior, how should I say it? I believe it's 14. We're about to see. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know it mentioned that's we just went through that one at camp the other day. That's why I got it confused. Let's see. Um, is it a? Uh, no, it's different on the computer. There we go. They already got it up. Yeah, it's 15. Excuse me, not 14, but 15. This is my shot, Yahweh shot. The words are in red. When the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the proper name, Yahweh shot, my shot, the King of King, Lord of Lords. It says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. If you are not abiding in Yahweh Shai, you're going to wither away. If you're not abiding in the body of Yahweh Shai, keep in mind the tabernacle of David, is the body of Yahweh Shai. Bashar Yahweh Shai, the flesh of Yahweh Shai. All right? And Yahweh Shai is what? The scriptures say he's the head. You know? And he's orchestrating this thing. So when you when brothers give you counsel through the spirit, as it is not written, when two or more are gathered in my name, I am also there. Well, we know they can't be with IUIC because when are you niggas ever gathered in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha? You're condemned by the very name in which you bear. Uh, Israelite united in Christ. The very name in which you bear uh, smells of uh, a degenerate behavior. Smells of infidelity. But you come against the man of the Lord. You know? It says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Without Yahweh Shah, there's no hope. But with Yahweh Shah, is everlasting life. This is the book of Hebrews. This is the book of Hebrews. And we're going to wrap it up right here. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13. Mm. Verse 16. But to do good and to communicate... Forget not. What's the key word that I want to emphasize based upon the topic of the lesson? Communicate. It's important that we communicate with each other, brothers. We are, we are on the battlefield. This is the front line. Which is an essence word of community. To commune. They say communion. And I believe commune, meaning, what, matter of fact, let's get the etymology. Can we do that? We are a great millstone. Mm. Now, this is the definition, not the etymology. We're going to get the etymology next. It says share or exchange information, news, or ideas. Are we not the watchman? The watchman must communicate. And that's another that's an onion layer of the communication that I'm speaking of, but you know, you brothers we can receive it for the, the circumstances in which brothers got to deal with. The scriptures is living water regardless. Let's get the etymology real quick. Real quick. Cominus. Shit. All right, let's go let's go to it. Online, at him online. All right. Now, I always try to go to the bottom, or I like to go to the base of the original word, the original essence of the word, which is coming, is deriving from the Latin, Latin, uh, communis, communis which meaning common, public, general, 
communicare, which is to share, divide out, communicate, impart, inform, join. Here that word goes again. Unite. Unite. And we are a unit. A unit must unite, participate in, to make common. And that's not saying you have to you know, speak about everything amongst the congregation or, or share brother secrets. That's actually um, a sin. The part tells you that. Of course, if it's, you know, unless you are, the brother's just obviously, if it's, if it's need, you know, according to the spirit, but, you know, because of wickedness or something of that nature. But we're supposed to communicate. All right? So we're supposed to communicate, man. All right? So let's go back to the scripture. It says, but to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Wow. Say, yeah, how about it said to communicate? Communication is the essence of sacrifice. It's a leap of faith. Because with communication, a servant, certain essence of trust has to be present. Especially when you're fighting on the front line in the battlefield of the war to end all wars. Matter of fact, it's imperative. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, meaning don't forget it, don't forget these, just like you're not supposed to forget the law, statutes, commandments. It says, for with such sacrifices, Yahweh Shimei is well pleased. Sacrifice. Sacrifice, goodness. Give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashim Yahushah Bashim Kodash. The abundance of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Hasting the coming of the day of our Lord Yahweh Bashim This is 2021. Shalom.